deseamos a ti. Tómalo ahí. trip to uh, Machu Picchu on the uh, here in Bingham which, which is uh, what I did was I decided that I would um, I would take uh, my motorbike to Poroi station and I decided to go the full hog with uh, with my trip and, and that means the here in Bingham is a you can see the train there it's a really old train but be beautifully uh, restored uh, train and uh, it's quite a spectacular train and it's very expensive like the total cost of the ticket uh, was $750 but uh, US dollars so I'll go through it starts at 6 8 oh, you basically you can either I rode to Puroi station my motorbike but you can get it you can get they'll provide you with a taxi to Puroi station and uh, um, and then from Puroi station you get on this beautiful train and uh, so you started about I started about 6 30 a.m. got on my way and then I finished it uh, I finished didn't get back home till 11 p.m. so it's a big big full day but on the train you get your transfers everything to get you to the station you then have get interviewed by a person and then they assign you a group and the group is like six people in each group um, and on the train at the station, Peroy station, you get drinks. They've got uh, in dancers and indigenous uh, music and and uh, and all that sort of stuff. All very colourful, beautiful. Um, it rained. It was an overcast day, but we got some bits of sunshine and it rained, and then it was fine, and then it rained again. So the weather was all over the place. The train goes pretty slowly, uh, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful trip and. Uh, and it's good, it's good fun. And there's a, a, a guy I met from the US, pretty good guy. Um, and so on the train, you get assigned a seat. Like you get two seats, basically, if you're a single person like myself. The food is pretty spectacular. Um, you get three course meals, as you can see here. Uh, this was lunch. Um, and uh, dessert, all very cool. Uh, and the train trip is fantastic, it really is. Um, and they really do look after you the whole way. Um, there's free beer and champagne on the train. The train takes about three hours. Um, but a cool journey, you know. And there's something to see around every corner. You pretty much follow this river all the way along. And there's, mount uh, there's uh, mountains all around you and waterfalls. But it, I mean, it is, well, put it this way, even if you didn't spend 750, if you spent if you spent, uh, if you only spent um, the basic, you'd still be up for about $150, $200 all up. Um, that river was absolutely raging too. So, Olante Tambo is a place where we stopped along the way and you can get off for about 10, 15 minutes and they, you know, people are trying to sell you stuff and there's cafes and little restaurants at the station. So there's there's this train and then there's another train, which is a very basic train. But this is one of the this is the, the Poro station. That was the Poro station where you had free champagne and drinks. And then when you get back on the plane, you back on the train while you're waiting. There's champagne, nibbles, drinks, all that sort of stuff. And before that, there's a big banquet lunch, which is fantastic. Um, so you really do get looked after. Um, The 
And so this is at the end of the train where you've got they've got musicians playing and there's music and there's little bites to eat and champagne and all that sort of stuff. You could drink yourself silly if you wanted to, but because we were going up to a fairly big height, I didn't want to have a huge amount of alcohol in my body. I was just being an idiot there. Um, and so yeah, we're coming through rain again. And you go through rain. This is actually coming into uh, into Machu Picchu Station. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, but it was it was wet when we got there, and then you basically get transferred to these buses, and you go up high, and you're just sweeping around, switchbacks, U-turns, uh, hairpin turns all the way. There's that's our bus, it takes you up to the top. It's a nice bus, but they do drive pretty crazy up there, and you're right on the cliff edge all the way up, and it takes probably about 45 minutes to get to the top. Um, it's pretty high up, and this is in the town below before we got up to the top. There's lots of bazaars and stuff like that. I prefer to buy just off the people walking around the street. You know, I didn't buy, I mean, I'm riding a motorbike, so I'm not morally buying anything anyway. Um, but yeah, this is Machu Picchu. We, I got a little bit lucky. Um, you got some, you know, you follow the tour around and he talks all about it. Um, he's, he was a good guy. And so we had rain, we had, sorry about the noise there, we had rain, we had, um, we had bursts of sunshine, um, and then clouds came over. So we were there for about three, three to four hours all up. It's all pretty cool though. But it's pretty spectacular. And there's other tours you can do. You can go up one of that mountains on the left. You can go right up to that, uh, right up the top there. There's actually little little huts and stuff like that. It's all very cool. There's llamas and alpacas and stuff like that just hanging around. They come right up to you too. They keep all the lawns nice and trimmed, basically. They'll just walk past you and go to the next spot. They don't, they don't really, not really bothered. So basically, the tour takes you all through all this bit of history. There's one of them just right next to me. Didn't care much for me. And it's been fully restored. Like it was all overgrown basically by the time you know. I set my GoPro up and it's a bit silly. But you set your GoPro up and it takes. Uh, take some photos of you as you're walking along so you know but once every five ten seconds I get it to take a photo I feel like a bit of a doofus there's certain areas that are off limits and a couple of times I got into trouble I was trying to sit on the ledges on the edge of the cliffs and stuff like that and they say no 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 but I set my camera up first and quickly sat down because I knew they'd say no that's one of the ledges I sat on and uh, I knew they'd say no so I quickly just got there got my photo and then pretended I didn't understand what they were saying for the first 10 seconds and then got off <laughs> So we had some decent breaks in the weather in the three, three or four hours we were there. You're up pretty high. You can understand why they built it up there. I mean, it's pretty inaccessible unless you go through certain pathways. You can see the walking track if you want to, the road is down below. Here's a cool little photo. Mr. Alpaca. Again, you set the camera up, it's a bit stupid, but you try to set your camera up to get a photo and uh, everyone else is taking photos and stuff like that, so it's pretty hard to get a decent sort of picture. Uh, there were a couple of, they, they just got engaged, a couple. Um, they were cool, they were nice people. That's in, in the town of Machu Picchu, down below. I don't know if the town's called Machu Picchu, I imagine it is. But it is spectacular, and I mean, if you've got a sunny day, it would be even better, I imagine. But it was still good. I mean, I didn't. It wasn't wasn't pouring with rain. We just had a couple of uh, rain, a couple of clouds come over, and it just rained for like five minutes, and then it cleared up again. So that, it does attract the crowds. 
the clouds I should say. Just getting a photo. You always feel like a bit of an idiot doing that. This one here is just a, probably a stupid place to get a photo. I was talking to the guy next to me, can't remember his name, but he was, I was just saying this, this, this. I wonder if I'm getting any photos here. I, I explained to him I was getting a photo every few seconds. It would have been nice with a bit, bit of sunshine. There's two lovebirds to the left of me. It's pretty crazy the drops down, um, down below, but it's cool. I was trying to get this. Is a, they said something about sacrificing virgins on there. That's about, that's about right. <laughs> This couple here, they, they knew where, they saw my camera when they walked out and they just still stood there for like 10, five minutes and I didn't get any, any shots. So you just get your photo done. And away you back up again. So I just count to about 10 seconds and usually I'll get one or two photos out of that. Restoration work is happening all the time in these area, in, in, in this place as well. So there's usually some uh, archaeologists working around the place, but it's a pretty spectacular place. It's a fair bit of walking to be done. This is where I was getting in trouble. And I just said, oh, I don't quite understand what you're saying. That's our tour guide on the right there. It's always good to listen to a tour guide and then go and do a bit of research or research before it because the tour guides do have a bit of flair about it and they do sort of uh, sometimes go a little bit off, off track. But it was a great day's trip, well worth it. And I, I definitely recommend that if you're going to go to Machu Picchu and you've got some spare money, then you do spend that money. On a, on a trip like this because it's a once in a lifetime trip and uh, it was well worth it. And honestly, I thought when I first started, oh, well, I'm probably gonna get ripped off. It's probably gonna be disappointing, but it was nothing but fantastic. And um, I, I had a, a fantastic time and they look after you. You got all three meals, uh, uh, three square meals on the way home, like a three course dinner on the way home, drinks, all that sort of stuff. You know, on the way home, I had a, not a fair bit of drink, but I had a, a couple of drinks because I had to ride my bike back from Peroy. But um, a fantastic day. Uh, not really a ride day, but I did ride a little bit of it, so I'm calling it a ride day, and it's one, one worth. Um, there's, that was the only photo I got from that, uh, that, that little exercise there. And you get free drinks and all that sort of stuff, and then when you go back to the, to the base, you get uh, a, a full banquet. So really, you, you know, it is expensive, but it, it's well worth it as far as I'm concerned. So. Again, any questions or comments below and, uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you had a great day.